Hello, and welcome to Generation Auto, a web series brought to you by Crevier Classic Cars. The car behind me, it is the finest example of a 190SL in existence. Now I know that's a very bold statement to make. So let me tell you why. Mark, this is a beautiful car, particularly this specimen of 190SL. It is gorgeous. This generation of auto has a very storied history. Where did it debut? It was debuted in 1954 at the auto show alongside a, a 300 SL Gullwing. It was next to the Gullwing yeah. as a concept car. It was it well received? I mean, that's a heavy shadow to be in. Yeah, it is. Gullwing. It is indeed. But it was very well received, so much so that it went into full production the following year. Just the following year. And I think they ran till 63? Yeah, 1955 to 63. So over a nine-year period, they made about 25,881 of them. I think it was about four thousand dollars or so in '59. It came out. It was kind of competing with the Jaguar, wasn't it? It was, and if it came with the hardtop, it was about forty-two fifty. And this one, did it come with the hardtop? It does. It has a fully restored hardtop. I believe there's also luggage that comes with this car. Isn't yeah, that it does custom have custom-fitted uh, luggage in the trunk that you can place in the trunk, or you can place behind the uh, the front seats. Is the color authentic or correct? Yeah, this is factory DB one sixty-six blue gray, and they kept the original color combination on this car. I noticed the Hirschman antennas even here. Instantly recognizable with the diamond tip. Iconic, iconic for this car. It is. Interior-wise, it's a very supple, beautiful red offsetting this blue. Is this leather or vinyl? This is leather. Now, most 190 SLs were equipped with vinyl. However, this one was restored with leather. Mm -hmm. The dash, the door panels, yeah, the, the seats. The dash is my favorite part. Uh, if you like watches like I do, I appreciate the instrumentation and gauges. It just looks like a fine piece of jewelry. Well, it's very much like a fine timepiece with the chrome bezel and the attention to detail. And then I love the way that they wrap the dash in leather and then the dash oh. itself is hand polished and sanded to match the exterior of the car. And the white steering wheel, I, I, just, want to, I just want to get behind it right now and go on the Autobahn. It does. It's very inviting. Makes you want to jump into the car. Is this the original engine that came with the car? It is the original. In line four, I'm guessing? Inline four, 1.9 liters, hence why it's called a 190. Right. It produced about 120 horsepower. Oh, wow, look at this. It's a numbers matching vehicle, and you can see the motor compartment. They took very, very careful attention to detail to return it to original style specifications with the CAD plated uh, different various components. But it is the original. This is the original motor to this car. And how many miles are on this engine? The car has 77 test miles on it since being restored. It's just 70. It's a brand new car. It's brand new. What about the underside of this car? During the restoration process, the car is placed so that all aspects of the vehicle can be attended to. So the underside is restored just like the top. It's powder coated. It's polished. Every nut and bolt is attended to. It's beautiful. Wow. How about we take it out for a spin? Absolutely. I'll take you for a cup of coffee. I think everybody's doing that nowadays. I hear somebody's doing that nowadays. Let's go for a ride. Please. 